I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, peoples? How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have someone from, like, another country coming on. She is, like, and it's nighttime. She agreed to do this time. I am so happy to have her. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we got new music for you, too. Welcome back to the show. So, okay, so we have someone from a different country. She's going to let us know where she's from, but her name is Barbara Peterson. And let me tell you something. She's, she is in a group, a musical group with her husband, which makes another layer of questions that I have for her. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being on. Okay, so, all right. So where are you right now? Right now, I am just outside Gothenburg in Sweden. Sweden. I love Sweden. Oh, I have been you ever in... been? Yes. Oh. Yes. I have been to, yeah. I've been all over the world. It is beautiful. Really? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. yes. I love mm. Sweden. It was, it was so pretty. It was so gorgeous. We did, my mom is a singer, so we did I mean, worldwide traveling. So yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing, amazing yeah. place, Sweden. I love it. Mm. All right. So yeah. now you're in Sweden. What time is it? It's now just after nine o'clock in the evening. Oh, okay. So, so it's not it's, too, too it's bad. not that late. Okay. Yeah, not too it's bad. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> So you have a group with your husband. How did yes. you guys decide to do this? And what is it like performing with your husband? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I, I think I actually separate when he's my husband and when we are working together. Ah. It's like when we are working together, he's no longer my husband. He could have been anyone. And I, I, it's, it's nothing that I actually work hard to you know be in it's just it's just the way it is mm. so when we are working together we are just working together that's mm. it but we have tried to work together with other things than music and that doesn't work out well at all <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just when it has to do with the music and that is because i i make all the decisions you know that's oh, okay that, that so. yeah <laughs> yeah. that makes a big difference <laughs> yeah yeah but wow. he is you know he, he is a great singer my husband and mm. so he is doing all the backing vocals on all mm. the songs that we record he's doing the backing vocals and I actually have I have the man's voice a little bit you know I have the darker voice and he has the lighter voice so mm. our voices mix well together mm. uh, so yeah awesome awesome but, Wow. Mm. We're going to be playing the song, at, you know, um, throughout this whole thing. And at the end, we're going to go ahead and put the whole song at the end. But man, I'm telling you, you know, performing with your husband, you said you could separate that. How, how were you able to do that? Because like you said, you, you weren't able to do it anywhere else, but here you can, you said you're in control. Is this how you do it? I mean, you're, you're making all the decisions. Is that the main factor why it's working so well? Hmm. I don't really think that it's only that. I think maybe it's because you are concentrating so hard on something mm. in very specific. You know, it's not like you are doing another job where mm -hmm. where maybe it's more diverse or something. But this is really, it's only about music. It's only about making the music sound as good as it possibly can. So you are so concentrated on that. I think that. But I mean, we haven't been on the road together for, you know, like months and months and done all that. Mm -hmm. Maybe something else will <laughs> you know, pop up. I don't know. I don't Who know. When it, but when it comes to writing now and performing, it works really good. That's no. really good. That's really good. I'm mm -hmm. excited for you both. You know, it's it's a journey that music is just an amazing journey, but it's a journey that both of you can share together from the beginning yeah. to the end. How do you guys feel working together? And and then you know, when you come home and you're so excited about everything, how does that work out for you? Well, I, I you know, we 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 are we are not that young. <laughs> you probably can see that. And when we were young, we were both working with music, but that's many years ago. And for many years, we haven't done that at all. We've been working with other stuff. Mm -hmm. So we actually started again 
like a few years ago. And then we started just doing covers, you know, mm-hmm. performing and doing covers. And then I just came up with this. I just, I just, a song just came to me. Mm. A complete song just came to me. I know maybe that has happened to you, but it has never happened to me before. Mm. A complete song came to me with the lyrics, with the melody and everything. And then, you know, he was just there. It wasn't like I had to to look for someone. He is always mm. here. Every time that I come up with an idea, he's here. So he can help me. He can help me immediately, you know, so all my ideas, nothing, I don't forget anything, nothing goes away. The thing I, you know, everything that I come up with, he is there and he can help me and support me so that I can finish it. So That's wonderful. So that's, that's a great thing with, you know, being together all the time. Oh, so. yes, definitely. Has your love grown since you guys have started working together again? Is it a different kind of love? Have you rekindled some things you thought were gone? Um, I don't know if it has grown. It's it was always there, you know. It was always mm-hmm. big, but but it it's like I said in the beginning. I actually think that we we are separating working together with with, uh, with you know being a couple and being partners. So, mm-hmm. And I don't think that if anyone saw us not knowing that we were married when we are out and performing, I don't think they would actually see it. Mm. You know? Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. That's amazing yeah. how you can, you guys can do that and be married and separate the business from the marriage. That is, I mean, mm-hmm. I think that's great because then, you know, you, you really, if you get into an argument, it's like an argument about music. It's not an argument about being yeah. married. It's totally no, 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 different. No, no, no. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's no. wonderful. I think that's mm. great. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great because, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, I could chew you out and then we go home and then I can kiss on you, watch a movie and eat some popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So tell me about your new song, Crazy. I really want to know about it. You you said you came, yeah. it's just a big song just came into your brain. Was this the song? Uh, no, it was actually another one. This, oh. this song that, you, we are playing here is the second. We are coming out with five songs this year only. Mm. Uh, but so this was the second one. But I, I think what they really are is like they are parts of my life. I think I'm writing my through my life mm. episodes that things that have happened to me. Some of them are really serious and and not that funny, you know. And some of them are just, you know, small things, but they are still there somewhere in my mind. So it's like almost a therapy mm-hmm. for me. It's my biography, you mm-hmm. know, in in different songs. That's wonderful. So, and this song is really just a, 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 a small thing. It, it's something that I've had in the back of my mind because uh, many years back, long before my husband, uh, I just had this little fling with a guy and I was just there to have fun, you know, like a- anyone. And it turned out that it was extremely serious to him, you know. Mm. So mm. I had to be like a really a bad person. Of no. Everything yeah. all is forgotten now. But mm. so this is just what this song is about. I was just a little while I was crazy. So I hear you. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, so I that's it. Think, I think everybody kind of goes through something similar. So I wouldn't worry I'm about it. I'm <laughs> sure. And I don't worry about it. But, you know, some of the songs that I write, they are really, really serious. They are, you know, about important things that I've gone through. This mm-hmm. one is, this is not important, but it was there. Mm-hmm. And it's still somewhere, you know, in my mind. So it just came out and I just felt like, okay. This is a little excuse, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. No. I was just a little crazy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but but so, I understand because we see from the listeners that we have, you know, if we see on, on Apple Music or Spotify or whatever, it seems like this song is more popular than the other ones. In, mm. Where maybe you come from? Maybe it's you know people can relate to 
being a serious on one end and not so serious on the other and misconstruing mm -hmm. things and misunderstanding the signals and so i mean you yeah. know sometimes it, that, that song can can blow up bigger you know there's so many yeah, different yeah, ways yeah. you know so but let me ask you a question so what's in the future for you guys you know and and what what can we expect from you because you said this year you've written so far five songs right yeah but two, two of them are still to be released so okay. next one we are releasing another one in the months after that as well but they are already more or less completed okay all right so, and the yeah. name of the band is backbone of of, of uh, barbs and babes right or babes and barbs it's babs and the babes babs and the babes babs and yeah. babes babs and babes yeah. why that name yeah. tell me how you guys came up with babs and babes well the thing is you know my name is barbara in sweden that uh, becomes babs yeah oh, okay and and also because you know the band that I have, we are no longer we are no longer any babes. You know, <laughs> maybe they used to be, but they are not any longer. So mm -hmm. I just love it. I love to call them my bab my babes. You know, oh, okay, because they are, they are not what you would actually maybe describe as babes, but they are they are really 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 good uh, musicians. So mm -hmm. it's it's just me and my boys, babs and the babes. Is yeah. it is it better to work with guys than it is to work with girls? Have you ever ever had been in a band with women with women? No, I haven't. So what I don't is, know. how is how is it working with a bunch of guys? I mean, I've, I've always been around guys a lot. Mm. I don't know. I just find it easier, not mm. only when it comes to music, actually. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, I am a bit sad about that. I would have liked it to be different. But uh, I find it easier to be around guys, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I just wanted to know, you know, so, so the backbone of Babs and Babes. That's me and my husband. Yeah. Awesome. So we are really, uh, yeah, Babs and the Babes. The Babes can alter, you know. Okay, but I got you. Not me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have the song Crazy. Man, I'm telling you, you know, when it, I mean, a, a lot of people would think, oh man, after 40, it's over for you. If you haven't done yeah, it, yeah. then, oh, yeah. you know, I know, they think, you know, oh, you're yeah. old news, you're, forget it. Yeah. But truly, is that real? I mean, is that, is that no, no, truth? No. Tell me about of that. What, what, do, what kind of advice do you give to people that are over the Actually, age? I, I, and I mean, I've actually heard this from from quite a lot of people here, and especially from women, mm -hmm. that they they can tell me that they feel so inspired by what I'm doing, you know, because I'm 61 years old what? and I haven't done this. I haven't done this for many, many years. 61? And yes, yes, yes. No, yes, no, yes, no. Yes. no. Yes, no. yes, yes. Wait, hold on. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Uh, I'm looking yeah, yeah, at yeah, you. Yeah. You do not look like 61 years old. You look amazing. Oh, oh 61, thank you. Please. But I'm, 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 I'm 61 years old and I have not done anything. Like, we don't really do that where I come from. But, you know, I, what, I, I, I always think when I listen to Sweden is a country where youth is everything. Mm. Everything. When you are 18 years old, you know, you can, you're, they ask you about life hmm. that you are on every tv show you are you know you know everything about politics you know everything about history you know everything about religion it has you know everything is from the young people mm. not from the old the elder people any longer we really really are looking up to everyone who's young you know mm. and mm. and i i always think every time i hear you know, someone maybe having a, a, a success or something and they are 18, 19, 20 and they say, oh, I have dreamt about this all my life. And I think, God, what's all my life? Maybe that's four <laughs> years. Maybe that's five years. Well, I have dreamt about this. Well, see now. <laughs> yeah, right? It's alive. I've dreamt about this alive. And I just decided this has nothing to do with age nothing whatsoever it doesn't matter how old you are creativity hasn't got anything to do with age no. i don't feel old at all and i also know that what are they going to do with us 
we will be young for so many years. When they when they put up uh, when they put us in homes, what will they do? I will not be playing bingo. You know. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I'm so, the same way. So I gotta I keep going. We all have to change this way of of looking at it. You know, I know I'm I'm quite a lot. In, we have a small apartment in um, in Spain in Mabea, mm. and it's such a big difference between how they look upon age compared yeah. to how we look upon age. So it's different also in different countries. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. In China, I know that they kiss yeah. the feet of the elders and they sit under them yeah. and they listen and they get advice. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's just totally different. You know, yeah. I mean, you, every, every, you know, every generation is different. Every uh, country is different. And I yeah. think that, you know, when they get older, they'll feel the same. <laughs> they'll be like, Oh, of course, <laughs> of, course. of course. So, but, but I don't, I, 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 uh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just thinking that that this with doing something when you are my age, uh, it, it I don't feel any, you know, like, why didn't I do this earlier? Or I mm. should have done this many years ago. I actually think I'm doing it now because it's now I'm there. Maybe Wonderful. it took me all the all those years, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to so. ask you that question. Oh. I was going to ask you that question. You know, I I think that you are a role model. I really do. Because everybody has to remember that when you're in specific points in your life, you can't feel guilty about what you've done. You can only do what you can to go yeah. forward. And forward, yeah. no one really knows what and how many years forward is, no matter what age you are. No, 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 no. So, and I also think know. that this with this with the pandemic, if anything, we have to understand that there might not be a tomorrow. Yeah. If you want to do something, do it today. If you do want to say something, say it today. Do it now. You never know. Now. As so, long as it's good. As long as it's yeah. good, it doesn't hurt you or anyone else. Do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, Barbara, man, I tell you, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being on the show and for bringing your and point of view. You. I really commend you for just doing it. Just you said it's, yeah. it's in your now. This is what you're doing now and you have no regrets. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And I'm so happy to hear you say that because mm -hmm. now we can speak to those women and those men who are, who are, you know, you're not old. Okay. You're just, no. you're just, um, how is it? Fine wine ages because nowadays it's, it's, old is like 98 you yeah. know, people are living to a hundred years old now. So, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, 61 mm -hmm. is like, oh my gosh, that's you. That's not mm -hmm. even old yet. You're, you're um, almost, you got like 20 more years before you get old. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. so I am mm -hmm. so happy that you're doing this. So I need you, uh, first of all, we're going to have all that information about them in the description box below. So all you guys have to do is go down there and look at that and then uh, click on the, on the, on the logo or click on the, the, wherever you're looking at the, the link or whatever's highlighted. If it's not copy and paste it into your browser and click enter, it'll take you straight there. And I'm going to have Barbara introduce her song because we're getting ready to play it right now here on dream cases radio barbara take it girl yeah listen now to this is the song from babs and the babes and it's called crazy listen and enjoy <laughs>
You have 